Well, the diversions of this river began in the 1800s. And the diversion, if you go up the river, there's a grate, and the entire river disappears into the grate. So unless there's stormy weather or a lot of rain, the entire river is gone. And so down here below, there's been no steady supply of water for over 100 years. And the families along the stream, along with some of the other streams, the four big waters of Maui, Navaeha, have been fighting to get stream life, water restored to the streams for stream life for a long time. It's been a dispute for many years between the use of water for agricultural enterprise and restoring life into the streams and allowing the Kuleana users to be able to grow taro. And, uh, so, I, you know, this dispute's been going on, this particular one, for over 11 years up to the Supreme Court and back down. Had the opportunity this spring to sit with the parties and they came up with the answer and hopefully I helped a little, but you know, we're here today to see 10 million gallons taken out of this ditch system and put back into the stream every day. It's hard. It's been ten years. It's been ten years and four months. We filed a petition to amend in-street flow standards June 25, 2004. We've been fighting this battle since then. Contest the case hearing through the Supreme Court, winning, and finally a settlement with the parties. Um, brought this to today. Um, ten years, four months since we filed the petition been a long battle. We're not done yet. We have another thousand feet to go for connectivity. We're the reduce is a thousand feet from the intake, so we got another thousand feet to go. So the battle's not over, but we've come close to five miles, so we'll keep trucking on. Oh, I just told the kids they got to work at it now. <laughs> I'm getting old. So the, 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 the thousand feet has to be taken care of. That's I think it will be. It's going to take a while, but the thousand feet of connectivity from the intake down to here, it's a thousand measured, my wife and I measured 965 feet, so that connectivity has to be taken care of so the stream life can move up and downstream, as, as we've learned that the larva flows downstream and has to come back up, you know, when there's water, so if there's no water, there's no stream life, so, but we have to have the connectivity, so that's the next thing that's got to happen, so, for, for the future generations, because if continues to be dry, as it has been, the sooner, sooner or later there'll be no stream life left, you know, milk or for the people, so. It's a work in progress, and um, this is uh, almost a, uh, a first. This um, is the first time in uh, 152 years when the uh, uh, different stakeholders and the community and regulating agency are all working together to try to uh, um, make uh, reasonable and beneficial uh, um, use uh, um, decisions and uh, um, implementation. A lot of our culture and uh, island uh, philosophy is based on uh, the principle of Mauka to Makai. And um, when uh, the streams are able to function so that uh, the water flows down to where uh, uh, communities uh, grow kalo and other traditional crops, and when fish and uh, other animals that live in, the, live in the stream and the ocean are able to use the streams to, f to come upstream to, uh, uh, to spawn and multiply and live their lives, then it really helps to make our, uh, our society whole. It's 
you know, perhaps symbolic, but I feel this is a much greater action than uh, um, just the numbers of how much water are moving uh, would uh, seem to uh, uh, seem to connote. This is uh, something I, that uh, I've hoped to uh, see for decades. I uh, spend a lot of my time uh, in in Wailuku, in the heart of uh, Navalleja, and uh, to see the water uh, starting to uh, move again in a more traditional um, and bountiful way, and to see the different sides of the community and stakeholders working together, it really uh, gladdens my heart. The disagreements uh, that I heard expressed today are uh, trivial in nature, and they're mostly related to uh, the fact that it's not, um, it's not completed. It's a work in progress, and it takes time. It's taken 152 years to get to where we are, and it's been only uh, a few months since the agreement was reached. So I, I feel confident it's uh, going to get uh, increasingly collaborative, and a working group will uh, be able to uh, continue to fine-tune it.